Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you do go down below and hit the subscribe button down below and also leave a like if you do enjoy the video. It does mean a lot to me. But in today's video, we have a very, very special weapon added into the game just the other day and that is the Kilo, the weapon variant for the Kilo. It's called the Surulean. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Whatever that means. Um, kind of probably didn't pronounce that right at all. But basically, it's basically the Kilo, but it shoots blue lasers. Pretty insane. I've been meaning to do a video on this for a couple of days now. And today's the day I'm going to show it off. This is the class setup I'm going to be running. Here's the attachments I'm running in case you are wondering. Um, sort of trying out a little bit of a different setup on the Kilo. I've not used it in a while. Um, hopefully it all goes to plan. Trust me, this weapon is insane. Let's hop straight into it, guys. We've got a little TDM over on Vacant. I've not used this weapon yet. And I've not used the kilo. Whoa, this weapon looks absolutely crazy, and I don't want to die straight off the bat. I'm using a stim shot, which is pointless. I feel like I'm playing Black Ops 4. Uh, never really used a stim in this game. I thought I'd throw it on. Um, oh man, this weapon is. The bullets are so bright. Wow, Jesus. It's like on fire afterwards or something. I don't even know. Like his body was glowing afterwards. Insane. Um, wow, Jesus. This gun looks awesome. Honestly, never seen anything. Oh wow, look at this guy. I thought he was reloading. Look like he was reloading. Honestly, never seen anything like this in this game in any modern warfare series. I could understand guns like this on them, um, like advanced warfare and infinite warfare. Obviously, it was a standard in them games, but this gun, the it really, really does stand out in this game. As obviously, there's nothing else like this. And uh, I want to kill that kid, but I feel like they're going to be spawning back here now. Maybe not. I'm gonna kill that kid. Oh, for, I was crouched. I still, I hate how they uh, still cause a little bit of damage even though you are crouched. Obviously, it's exploding above my head. It's annoying. It only caused it a little bit, but it was just enough to. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna die. Let's see if I can see if this kid wants to push up. I'm getting absolutely slapped. What is going off? Literally for the majority of the day, I've been grinding out the. Uh, this guy's got an airstrike. Literally, I've been grinding out the um, SMGs, uh, going for Damascus camo. I know I said I probably wouldn't, seeing I have to have had multiple talks about the camo grind in this game. But it's actually pretty fun doing the grind, and it's super frustrating. The, the long shots are a joke. That kill, that death was a joke. My aim was awful. Um, but it is, it is, it is uh, I don't know, it's pretty fun. I'm going to be honest. The long shots have been killing me. It's just the challenge. Oh, man. Oh, man, they're all there. The challenges, um, the long shots, the crouch kills, uh, the mountain kills aren't too bad, but mainly the crouch kills and the long shot kills. Honestly, they are the most, I think this back here to be fair, don't kill me cruise missile please. Ooh. Wow, that was so unfortunate, I was too focused on where the cruise missile was going. Uh, them challenges, them three challenges are literally the most frustrating things ever. Um, oh man, oh man, it's been so long since I've actually used an AR. Wow, Jesus. Hence the reason I've got the no stock on. Um, I've put, just to make it a little bit quicker um, movement speed while that kid's going to get destroyed. Um, but I've also, was literally before I'm recording this, I was trying... Oh, okay. Wow, see you later, man. Oh, no. Uh, it's, oh, by the timing is... The timing, you can't make it up, man. The timing in this game is... Well, it's not even in this game. It's just the timing in general, no matter what it is. Um, literally so annoying. I think there's one more guy here. No. Um. Oh, I forgot what I was even saying. I forgot what I was even saying. Oh, cranked. That was it. I'm trying to record a cranked video, and I don't know if you've seen over on my Instagram. If you haven't, make sure you do follow me over there. Link is always in the description. Um, I was showing a video on my controller. The the right analog stick, the one you use to aim, is sticking like crazy, and I'll be in a gunfight, and all of a sudden, uh, my gun decides to look up at the sky. Um. Honestly, the most annoying thing ever. I've died so many times. I was recording for like an hour and a half. Couldn't get anything going because of the uh, the thumbstick issue. Hence the reason this gameplay is probably not the best. Is the thumbstick is really stiff. Uh, my aim isn't the best right now. So you're going to have to bear with me until I can figure out how... how where's this last guy? this guy? There's a guy over here, but I don't know where he is. Okay. This gun, though, looks insane. You have, But like I'm saying, you have to bear with me a little bit um, because... Oh, wow. The spawns, man, the spawns. Um, it is making it a little bit difficult for me to just play. Um, not having the best of games right now, to be honest. 
But it is what it is. I just want to showcase this weapon. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Come on. Peek that again. Peek that again. Please. No. Okay, bro. I'll kill you there, then. Um, but, yeah, it's super straight. And hopefully I can sort it out. I don't want to have to buy a new controller. Um, I use a scuff, by the way, in case you're wondering. And I don't want to buy another controller unless it is a scuff. Uh, but then, I don't, then again, I don't want to buy a scuff again. For the simple reason, they're expensive. Uh, super expensive. I've not even had this one that long. Oh, wow. I'm looking at the mini-map and I see the red dots still a bit further to my left. So I'm expecting to be a bit further to the left still. I mentioned it multiple times about the mini-map, how it's a little bit delayed. It is a shame. Well, it's not a shame. It's just weird. I like That was the perfect example there. I was looking up at the mini-map. And this guy had already started moving and I was just no clue. That reminds me. I should probably start running the Advanced UAV. But uh, believe me, uh, if you guys did see my shipment video, thank you for the support on that, by the way. It did insane. Uh, I've got an ins even better gameplay coming up. Uh, honestly, I, I don't want to say too much about it, but you'll probably see that tomorrow, uh, to be honest. It is honestly probably one of the better gameplays I've had in shipment, uh, definitely. I've not managed to break 100 kills yet, so that is a little bit of a spoiler alert. But we do get incredibly close. It is in the 90s. Um, I can't remember what game mode it was, but honestly, it is insane. Oh wow, come on, come on, let me kill this kid. Please, thank you. Just, only just, but the laser, this gun, honestly, it just looks incredible. Like, more than anything, like, obviously the Kilo, it's, a, it's an awesome weapon anyway. Oh wow, look at this guy. It's an awesome weapon anyway, but with this added effects on it and stuff, honestly, it really makes it oh, one of the um, more interesting weapons, let's say, in this game. Uh, definitely fun, definitely fun. I know where the... Ah, oh, man, I didn't... I knew that one was going to... Well, but two came through both doors. I just didn't know which door, man. That was a, a bit of a poor gameplay, I'm sorry, but... Onto this gun, it looks insane. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby now. If you do want to try this gun for yourself, unfortunately, you do have to buy it in the shop. I think it's around 2,000 COD points, so it is pretty pricey for what it is. Uh, but it does look really, really cool, really insane. It doesn't make the gun better in any way. It's just literally the lasers on the gun. Uh, just add that little cool effect, which I think it is pretty cool. Um, but thank you guys ever so much for the recent support on the channel. Honestly, it's been through the roof. I think in the last three days we've gained 70 subscribers, uh, and to me that is insane. Three days, 70 subscribers. I can't honestly can't put it into words that it's a lot of people in three days. The support on my Instagram has been insane as well. Like I say, if you haven't already, make sure you do follow me on Instagram. It's down in the description below every single time. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below as well. Make sure you smash that like button. Any constructive criticism down in the comments below is always appreciated as well. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.